Hey guys, it is Bruce from The Great Amalgamation. Once again, Hitman Absolution. I'm going to show you how to get the perfect, purest playthrough. Although, uh, I, technically I should say that it's not the perfect playthrough. Because I'm not going to show you how to get the second bit of evidence in the game. Uh, well, in this level. Uh, so, getting evidence also gives you points. But this is going to be unseen, unaware, untouched. Grab that wrench, just like the tutorial tells you, and chuck the wrench at those garbage cans. Run over to this barrier and hop on over it. Alright, we're going to sneak past this fuckface, right through the tennis court that this rich bitch owns. And you obviously are well off if you own a tennis court. We're going to come down here to this little uh, couch thing, grab her Bible, and chuck it on the ground where it belongs. Just throw it on the ground, splatter mud all over it. That's what we do with those. Now this guy's going to come over here and go, oh my god. Uh, except not really, because he probably doesn't believe in that either, because he kills people for a living. Now, this guy right here and that guy right there are going to end up talking to each other. Uh, and so you wait here at this little uh, stone maze thing. I don't know why she has a maze of stone in her garden. It's a little messed up, but whatever. Okay, and after they get uh, talking and they walk away, you're free to just walk on over here. Whatever. Okay. So we're going to go through this door. And there's Lake Michigan. Shout out to Lake Michigan. Look at that. That is a beautiful view. And obviously, this chick is well off if she has a, you know, mansion or condo. I, I, I don't really know what the classification is here. And maybe you just call it a house, but on Lake Michigan. All right, so we're going to don the gardener disguise and come on into the greenhouse. Use your instinct and walk on by. You'll probably run out, but uh, that's okay. You don't really need it for the next part. Oh, uh, stick to the right so you don't... Uh, get the attention of any of the other gardeners and come over here and wait right here for the other guard that guy right there to walk over here with this one now once they're both there it's time to get them nice and wet so turn this valve and sprinkle your juice all over their faces just rain it right on top of their faces just rain it right on top of their faces. Now follow them out here so you can see where they go. Not really, because this is the path you have to take. Creep on up these stairs. And this is going to be the saddest part of the purest playthrough, because you don't get to kill this guy. Uh, so super fast time. Do, 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 going across the ledge, whatever. You literally can't get caught doing this, I don't think. Now, this is why it's the saddest part of the purest playthrough. This guy right here, he is the funnest guy in the entire game to kill. After he says, nothing can rain on my day, I love to chuck him to his death. Always, always. And conveniently enough, uh, right here, you also get to wait a lot. That's that's kind of the deal with the purest playthrough. Is you, you end up waiting a lot for people and their actions to go through. Now eventually this guy walks over and... Uh, bitches the other guy out for smoking when he does that come on through this door now I'm gonna show you where the first bit of evidence is but in order to get the perfect playthrough you have to grab the other bit of evidence now don this lovely little costume here and disable your evidence now this costume allows you to walk around without the guards getting too too suspicious now obviously they're still going to get a little suspicious uh, but you should be able to walk right on by most of them uh, as long as you use instinct properly. Now we're going to wait for this guy to come down the stairs and then sneak on up there. The reason we're going up the stairs is to get the sleeping pills from the bathroom. Ignore that guy. He's obviously just a waste of space in the first place. His mom probably doesn't love him at all. Now we got the sleeping pills. Let's come on down the stairs and go into the kitchen. Uh, now... The chef and this guy have a lovely little conversation about using salt to flavor dishes, which is a really fun thing to listen to. Everybody loves listening to this for two or three minutes while you're waiting for him to get done with his goddamn speech. Because you don't want to pop, pop up and have that guard notice you, so you got to sit here and wait. Yay, waiting. Okay, stir, stir, stir. Shame on you, sir. Shame on you. Get out of here. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, now... Once this guy turns around, we can finally stand up and get out of here. Uh, the reason we're coming through here is it's the easiest way to get to the sleeping pills without getting detected. Uh, well, to get to this coffee in which we put the sleeping pills. 
Now, eventually, uh, this guy right here will take a sip of that coffee, and he comes to this area right off of the kitchen. He's going to be like, oh, cramps, oh my god, my bowels hurt because I just drank a ridiculous amount of sleeping pills. Oh, well, nobody will see me. And, of course, he says that while looking right at me, which is a little odd. But let's drag him over to the closet, hide his body, get a couple of points that way. Yeehaw. Now, grab the key card. And now, uh, as you walk through the kitchen, this would actually be the moment when I would go and get the evidence. But I'm not showing you that because I don't want you guys to get the high score because I currently have the high score. So, whatever. Uh, now, walk up here. And really, after this point, there's not much more to the game, the, this level itself, as far as getting a perfect playthrough, because everything else is scripted and unavoidable. Uh, so, but uh, th that's really how you get the well-played uh, challenge right there. I mean, I'm going to show it to you anyways, to, uh, give you a chance to see a nice little piece of ass through Diana here. Or Diana, however you want to pronounce her fucking name. But there you go, there's a piece of ass. Now, I also want to keep going because I, anytime I get a chance to record uh, the little mark target mechanic in action, I will record it every damn time. Over and over and over. Shoot him in the head twice, why not? Shoot him in the nuts because he doesn't really need them now that he's dead. And this black guy, let's just blow the fuck out of him. Not because he's black, but because I don't like his skin color. So we're going to shoot him a shit ton and splatter blood all over the goddamn walls. Alright, paint in the room. Just paint in the room. Alright, and you know what? I really don't like you. Let's, let's teabag a little bit. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Oh, there we go. Yeah, blowing my load all over your wonderful, wonderful ebony skin now pick the lock and that is the end of the level now that was a perfect playthrough as far as getting seen and unseen now uh so there you go uh thanks for watching guys and check us out later